Inching to go, go baby. What's good guys. Yoku here. And last week I did a tier list or rather I did a stream and then we were talking about tiers and there were two characters in particular that I feel as though would essentially be the best four stars in the game. However, the easiest way to put this is they're either really ass or really damn strong borderline broken, it's especially when it comes to like the realm of four stars, right? I won't say they're borderline broken when it comes to every character, but they can be up there. One being Arlen. I know a lot of people don't know too much about this character, but if you happen to pull them all, all dandy, it's all gravy in the tier list that you'll see me do uh, either later this week or, you know, if you were in the stream, shout out to you guys, you saw where I placed him, and he's in his own tier just because it's, it's like I said, it's either B or busted, right? But this character in particular, you can think of as like a mini Hu Tao in a way, except he's kind of like his own version of Hu Tao. But there are some key things to really pay attention to when it comes to Arlen. Number one, the way his HP sacrifice works is a lot different than Hu Tao's, right? Hu Tao does it, and then it's a percentage of whatever her current HP is, and it just goes from there and it busts her up no matter what. Arlen's is his max HP all the time. So if Arlen's 50, or rather taking 15% from his max HP at all times will give you roughly 190% of Arlen's attack that he dishes out onto a single enemy. That's a lot of fucking attack. However, going from that, you have to uh, take into account all the other things that apply to that. Now, one of the talents that Arlen has, which I don't know where it is. I don't know if it's a uh, if it's a part of his Adelon or whatever his trace. There's something that Arlen has that says something about taking 100 percent. And those that are, have been playing the game, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I just don't know where it is. There's something that he has that it, it uh, whenever he loses 100 percent of the HP, then he can dish out 100% more of that damage to whatever he's doing to the enemy. And I don't know where it is specifically. If I was able to find it, I'd show it to you guys, but it's somewhere around here. Um, this is really good too, the revival, that's really good. He's just a really solid character, but it takes work to build him up. Now, what I wanted to mention, whether in regards to the B or broken, right? The B or busted thing is that this skill, where is it at? Let me go back. This skill of Arlen's, right? This alone is kind of his bread and butter. This is the thing that makes it work. Arlen sacrificing HP to continuously buff himself is great. These stack, that's something that we ended up testing is that whenever he does this, he consumes his HP, it stacks. Now, if it is, where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? This right here. And this actually might be what I'm looking at. The talent to increase might go up to 100%. I'll go and check that in a minute. but. This continues the stack. Everything that Arlen does to stack his HP stacks. So in short, the more HP he loses, the more damage he is going to dish out on whatever target he wants. The ultimate, it's uh, it's an AOE. So the first target is going to hit everything. And then after that, it's going to hit a little bit. And we can have some gameplay here in a moment to show off Arlen. But I really just want to break down this character and, and why if, if you pull him, or rather when the game comes out, this is going to be one of those characters where the, the people that pull Arlen will understand how how strong he is or can be. The people that don't have Arlen will not understand how strong he is. So I'm trying to put it on the map to where everybody understands. There's another thing that I need to talk about, which will be his light cone. Here we go. So his signature light cone, right? A secret vow is going to increase damage dealt by the wearer by 20%. And then the wearer also does an extra 20% of damage to enemies with an HP uh, percentage higher than his which will uh, theoretically is going to be all the time, right? Whenever you use a skill, you're going to always be lower than the opponent. The, the condition, right? The thing that makes Arlen even more broken on top of the 100% thing that I'm talking about, there's only one known way to do that in the game right now. And I've only heard of one person actually being able to do this, but since they don't have their characters built out, they weren't able to perform it. Arlen plus Bailu, which I've shown you guys her before. Let me go back to it. Bailu, since I don't have these two characters, I can't, you know, show them at the same time. But Bailu overheals, right? Her talent is overhealing. She's got the invigoration effect on top of that. The ultimate is going to be able to uh, uh, res, or rather, her technique is going to be able to res whatever the passive. I'm thinking of the passive. But yeah, point being is that she's got all this stuff going on for her, right? Her thing is overhealing. And whenever she overheals an opponent or well, an ally that's the only way that i can think of that's in the game right now that's going to allow arlen to be able to go below 100 hp right like he consumes the maximum amount of whatever his hp stat is to therefore pump out 100 worth of extra damage on top of whatever else he was already doing so like the 192 right from that attack for arlen is going to turn into basically 292 
which again is a lot of fucking damage that's arlen arlen is is literally make or break right i, I cannot explain that any other way the other character that is make or break is su shang i know that a lot of people are looking at right don hong don hong's great uh who else are you guys talking about team yoon the the quote unquote been of the game march 7th he's free she's the best character in the game yada yada this and that heard of everybody loves kudu kudu girl right nah you're looking at arlen and you're looking at su shang these two characters are going to be the two that you really want to get your hands on at any point in time right early on the earlier the better of course i think su shang is going to be a hunt class and then arlen is going to be a destruction class so you can actually put both of them on the same team and go from there but uh, I've explained Su Shang in my other character video that'll pop up in the bubble right up here. But for right now, Su Shang is pretty much gonna be able to do similar things, except whenever she deals or dishes out the damage, you're looking for like the skill, ultimate skill, right? Because whenever she uses her ultimate, it jumps her up immediately, it immediately advances her forward, and she also gets a boost in her skill. Like she's just cracked out. And so in short, this character is just damage on top of damage. The more things that she does, the more damage she does, the more breaks that she applies to the enemy, the weakness breaks and stuff like that, the stronger she becomes. You apply uh, speed buffs with the characters as well. Like, right, you guys love Asta. I'm not a big fan of Asta, but I know you guys love Asta, right? The speed buffs from Asta using her uh, her ultimate right here, increasing that, which goes from 37, I think 42 and then 50, if I'm not mistaken, or 44 or something like that. But it goes with the 50%. Her talent with the charging stacks is gonna increase your uh, attack. Right, so right now at a base value, this is gonna be 25%. And then as you increase this talent, it's gonna go up all the way to 50%. So you do have to put some work in for Asta in order to make her the quote unquote broken unit that a lot of people have been running around saying she is. But for right now, Su Shang is where it's at in terms of just raw damage, right? If you build up a Su Shang and you can force the conditions, which is very easy to do once you properly build her, then you're golden, you're in there. So. These are just the two four stars that I really wanted to kind of throw out there and talk about because over the weekend, I've been trying to play with my own Su Shang and, and work on building her up and uh, looking at different light cones that I can try and use with her and going for certain relics. Like none of the stuff that I have for Su Shang is giving me the results that I want. But if I borrow somebody else's Su Shang, then it gives me the results that I want. So that's just me getting unlucky here with the, the grinding for Su Shang and all that kind of stuff. But regardless, that's all we're gonna be talking about today, guys, is those two things. Let me know in the comments down below if there are any of the four-star characters or characters in general that you might have questions about or that you want me to talk about. Uh, like I have opinions on Pela that I think are pretty controversial. That's the word I'm thinking of. But yeah, that, I have controversial opinions about Pela and some, <laughs> fuck, I'm dying. Sampo, I have them about Sampo. But yeah, that, anyway, I'm out of here, man. Uh, comment down below, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys later.